Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to install the EVGA backplane on the Titan X. For some reason Nvidia decided not to include one, despite this is the top of the line GPU, the 980 and 970 I believe, and the TI have backplanes. It's kind of weird that it's not on this one, but the backplane to my knowledge serves four purposes. So it can serve uh, for aesthetics, which, as denoted by this EVGA cutout. Sometimes they don't have uh, cutouts, it's just a solid backplane. It also provides for cooling, especially for the VRAM around the GPU uh, central core right here, the, the GPU itself. Uh, it also protects against uh, from particles and just touching up the back part of the PCB and also of course uh, rigidity so the GPU doesn't bend on its own weight when you install it in uh, your computer case. I know that aftermarket coolers and stuff such as the ACX, uh, some versions just uh, and models just when you install it in the in the case, it would just bend and it's gonna kind of looks bad and also maybe just not mechanically good. But anyway, we're gonna have to uh, fix that problem. So I ordered an EVGA backplane for Titan X. So this is what the packaging looks like, and of course I'm using the super clock version of the Titan X by EVGA as well. So. I believe since if you're using the stock design or reference design, this should work with other models. I can't confirm exactly, but definitely with the EVGA, it'll work fine. So let's open up the Titan X box. So this comes a little bit more padded and reinforced compared to the other packaging I have seen. This is all foam packing. I've seen it just with a plastic casing around like the 980 series. So this is what you get. You get some stickers, uh, an outdated CD manual, but hey, the CD come, manual comes for drivers. I mean, it comes with a cool case badge sticker, which is kind of nice. Better come with one if you're paying a lot of money for a GPU first place. User guide, no one's ever gonna read. Quick start, no one's gonna ever read. Some cool stickers. I'm probably not gonna use that. And then uh, there's the GPU itself. And then power cables. And then the DVI to VGA adapter. So if you're still running VGA monitors, if you're running one of those, you um, probably shouldn't be buying Titan cards in the first place. All right, so here's the brand new Titan X. It has no backplane on it or backplate, so kind of this is what it looks like. So some people don't like to touch the back. Of course, I don't like to either. Just the oils on your hands can can damage the circuitry. So we're gonna solve that by putting the backplate on. So this is what it just comes with. This is currently running for $19.99 on their website. I think Amazon has it for a little bit more expensive. But. Yeah, so it comes with a pretty simple instruction manual. So you're just basically going to be replacing some screws and replacing them with the provided ones by EVGA. So this is that's including the packaging. So let's take a quick look at it. So you have your protective film on the top, and then you have your VRAM uh, heatsink pads on the back. So we don't want to touch these with our fingers, of course. And then you get the screw key as well. Okay, so first we're gonna remove uh, a bunch of screws. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Total of eight screws. So if we place this on the back, sort of, or just kind of like, just to map it out, where we can see what screws we need to uh, pull out. So let's pull out a screw right here. 
So we're using a uh, small Phillips head screwdriver. All right, so we have all the required screws out, all eight of them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're gonna uh, use the screws provided by EVGA. Looking at, they look exactly the same. It's kind of weird. Maybe this one's slightly longer, I'm not sure, but can't really tell. It's maybe a thread longer, I don't know, but anyway, the manual says you should use the screws that are provided with it. So my little tip is I'm going to actually uh, put the screws in the back plane first and then gently set it down. So that means I don't have to worry about fumbling the screws. Uh, with the screwdriver just potentially using them when I install it. All the screws in the same place. And of course keep this protective coating on uh, or a little adhesive before, uh, before you install. So yep, we're just installing these screws here. here and boom the screws are in and so now all we have to do is just tighten them so since uh, we don't we don't want to tighten them uh, we want to tighten them in a pattern or like an X pattern not uh, straight across so we don't uh, so the plane gets on there the back plate gets on there evenly and also we can just uh, take time to align it I like to have the screws in there center and uh, centered with the hole just for to make it look good. So we'll uh, hand tighten it very uh, sort of tight but enough that we can wiggle the plate around. Well, there we have it. So we have all the screws in. Looks pretty good. See, nice and flat. Flat and even right here. All right, so now we can remove the protective coating or the film. So there you have it. That's how you install the backplate on the Titan X. And if there's any issues or questions you have, love, feel free to let me know. And as always, have a nice day and happy gaming too. So see you guys later. <laughs>